Hey guys, what's up? It's Kaylee. I am back with another What Sold video. I'm going to be showing you What Sold on both eBay and Poshmark for last week. So if you're interested in seeing What Sold, then just stay tuned. Alright, so I'm going to start with eBay as that's where the bulk of my sales came from. So these sales are from last week, Sunday through Saturday, January 26th through February 1st. On eBay, I sold a total of 25 items, making my gross sales total, gross meaning before all my fees, cost of goods, all that good stuff, my gross sales total was $959.63. This made my average sale price $38.39, and then my total cost of goods for all of the eBay items was $88.50. Jumping right in, I sold these pair of L.L. Bean men's natural flip flannel line jeans, and I originally picked these up for $5. I've had these for quite some time. I think the season for these, um, you know, is starting to pick up. These are good to look out for if you can get them for cheap. Um, normally I sell them for $25, but I sent out offers to watchers. So I had these listed for $25 and sent out offers to watchers for $22.50. And something to look out for when you are sourcing is for the L.O. Bean jeans with this flannel or even fleece lining. Next are these pair of women's frame denim Lehigh skinnies, and I picked these up for five bucks at a Goodwill. Um, the Lehigh skinny seems to be a pretty good style to pick up and has a quick sell through rate. Didn't have these for very long. I had them listed for $35, sent out offers to watchers, and someone accepted an offer of $29.75. This is a shirt I've had for a really long time. I picked this up for, I think, a couple bucks, maybe. Maybe I got it at the bins. I honestly can't remember. Um, it's just a t-shirt by Lane Bryant, size 1820. Um, I had this listed for $8. I have obviously reduced my price significantly since I picked this up. It's probably been a couple of years. So since I had it originally listed, I have been reducing the price to get it moving. I sent out offers to watchers, someone accepted an offer of $7.20, so barely making any money on that, but I am happy to get out of my storage, and I would not pick up something like this again. This is a women's wool-rich wool pullover sweater. I like picking up wool pieces in wool-rich, that is what they are known for. This one was a bonus because it had Nordic Fair Isle print. It was in really excellent condition. It was a women's size large, and it did have the style name on the inside um, or maybe it was the color I don't know it had amethyst um, on the tag as you see here I have this listed for $29.99 and I sent out offers to watchers someone accepted an offer of $25.49 and I originally paid $3.99 I believe these are a pair of Sanook women's shoes they were like a comfort fit shoe and they were pointed toe had a little bit of wear on them I have been sitting on this for a little while um I paid four dollars I think originally they sold for $24.99 this one I just picked up in a Ben's haul this was a couple videos ago if you'd like to see that but these sold very quickly um, I picked these up for probably a little over a dollar based on their weight. They did go first class. I had them listed for $20. I sent out offers to watchers for 10% off and someone accepted $18. These are a pair of women's Fabletic gym leggings, size extra small. I do pick up Fabletics um, if it's in decent condition and I can get it at a cheap cost. I think I got this a little while ago. I paid $6.99 for them, which is paying up a little bit. I can typically sell these between $25 and $30. Um, so not sure what my thinking was back then. I definitely wouldn't pay $6.99 now um, unless it was, you know, a pretty unique style. But nonetheless, I still made money, so I turned $6.99 into $24.99. Here is a brand called Nasty Pig, and I'll go ahead and show you the tag. You've probably never heard of this brand before. I believe they're somewhat of like a, I don't know if it's like biker, motorcycle, car uh, 
somewhere in that region. It's been a while since I looked them up, but they do have a following. I don't come across them very often, but when I do, their stuff always sells pretty quickly for me. Um, I picked up this jacket not too long ago. Never seen a jacket by them. I usually only find t-shirts, but I always pick up the t-shirts because again, they sell pretty quickly. Pick this jacket up for $5 knowing that it would sell. Um, I had it listed for $85 and someone accepted an offer that I sent out to my watchers for $76.50. These are a pair of women's white leather Zara mules. Um, these were in used condition. Usually when I pick up Zara, it is in new condition, but these ones didn't have too much wear. They were still in really excellent condition. Um, I just sent these out. These I had listed for $34.99, sent out offers to watchers, and someone accepted an offer of $31.49, and I originally paid $4.99 for these shoes. This is an Eddie Bauer men's heavyweight flannel. I like to pick these up um, when I can get them for cheap. I believe I picked this up at the bins for a couple of dollars. Um, they are a little bit heavy, but they flip really quickly. And usually I'm putting like barn or ch chore in the title um, for whatever reason I didn't on this one. But if you come across an Eddie Bauer heavyweight flannel, I would suggest that you put those keywords in your title because you'll be able to sell them pretty quickly. Um, nonetheless, this one's still sold. I had it listed for $25, sent out offers to watchers, and someone accepted $22.50. Picked this one up not too long ago. Um, this is called ALF, which is by Cool. And I'll go ahead and show you the tag here. If you're familiar with the brand Cool, K-U-H-L, um, they make this brand and their tag looks almost identical. So you should be able to recognize it pretty quickly. Um, cool is a great brand to pick up and so is ALF. This one is a bit of an older piece. I want to say a lot of the listings I saw for these said vintage. Um, but what drew my attention to it was the like taping along the zipper here had like a Western vibrant pattern and I really like that and knew it was probably worth something if not just a trendy piece. Picked this up for only $2 at a thrift store and it sold full price $49.99. This is a brand called Aaron Crafts or Aron Crafts. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but I almost always pick up pieces by them. Here is the tag. I would get familiar with this tag. They usually have really thick, nice wool pieces. This one was 100% merino wool. I really like to pick up the cable knit ones. Um, and I make sure to put it in my title. This is a very desirable style. Uh, I think when I come across them at the thrift store, more often than not, there's holes in them. So make sure that when you do come across this brand, you're checking it over for holes because wool, cashmere, things like that um, typically do get holes in them. This one was excellent condition. Um, I had it listed for $40 and it did sell at full price. I originally paid $250. This is a pair of straight flex jeans by American Eagle. Pick these up for five bucks at a thrift store, knowing that they would sell very quickly. Now, normally I would sell these for about $20, $22, maybe $25, but the reason that I dropped the price on them was because it had a little spot in the front, which you can see I pointed out here in the photos. Um, otherwise, I think I would have gotten a little bit more, but it did flip very quickly. So I paid $5. I had it listed for $20. I sent out offers to watchers and someone accepted an offer of $18. This is a vintage Gunny Sacks by Jessica McClintock dress. These are good to look for if you can find a style that can still be worn today, I feel like. So this one was kind of special because it the tag said Millennium 2000. Um, I have been sitting on this for a little while. I don't think it's something that flips quickly, but it will bring decent money in when it does sell. Um, so I like to look for Gunny Sacks with Jessica McClintock. I paid only $2.99 for this dress and it sold for full price at $49. Next is this piece by Athleta. I haven't had this for very long. It is a swim cover up. I think I originally thought it was like a workout tunic just like a hoodie, but after looking up the style number information, I did find out that it is called the Wicket Waiter Swim Cover-Up. 
Um, so I paid only $1.99 for this at a thrift store, had it listed for $29.99, and it sold for full price. This is an Abercrombie & Fitch men's 100% distressed cotton pullover. Um, I don't know, something about the aesthetic of this is really in right now. The distressed looking sweaters or thermal shirts. Um, I picked this up, I think, for a few dollars, and it's sold for $20 with free shipping. These tend to be a quick flip, even if you're not making a lot of money off of them, just because they're really grungy looking, and that's really in right now. So whenever I come across grungy, uh, distressed looking sweaters, I tend to pick them up. This is a Zara new with tags women's cape jacket. So I have the stock photo right here. That way the buyer can tell how it fits. Um, I mean, a little wrinkly, but still new with tags. It had a little bit of a mark where it was sitting on a hanger. And I did disclose that in the listing. Um, this is a size extra large. I originally paid $10 for it. I had it listed for $50 and it did sell at full price. In hindsight, even though Zara is good to pick up new with tags, I am going to stay away from the white pieces because more often than not, I bring them home and then once they get my photography lighting, I notice a stain that I didn't notice in the thrift store. So I'm going to steer away from white clothing in general. A pair of American Eagle women's jeans. These are called the boy jeans. I picked them up um, at the bins, so about a dollar, maybe a little over for them. I got them because they were distressed, um, and that's just a style that's in right now. I knew that they would flip pretty quickly. I listed them for $17.99, and they did sell at full price. Here's a pair of Gap Fit Women's Skull Compression Crop Pants. Whenever I find anything that feels like shapewear, I'll usually look it up because it sells very well for me on eBay, even Gap Fit, believe it or not. So I believe I picked these up at the bins. I paid about a dollar for them. I had them listened for $15 and they sold at full price. These are a pair of New Balance Men's 748 hiking shoes. 748 is the number that is on the back of the shoe here, and I think it might also be on the tongue. I like looking up these style numbers to do comps. If I see that they look like a hiking shoe by New Balance, they tend to do pretty well for me in the men's department. Um, I think I picked these up for about five bucks. I had them listed for 35 and they sold on a best offer of $30. Here's a pair of Cole Haan Zero Grand Women's Lightweight Sneakers. Um, these had very little wear to them. I already knew that Zero Grands had a good sell-through rate. I think this is the first pair I've ever found, though. So when I looked them up, I was happy with the sold comps. Um, so I paid $2.99 for these, and they sold... I had them listed for $44.99. They sold on a best offer of $39.99. This is a Polo Golf Ralph Lauren 100% Pima Cotton Mock Net shirt. Had a little Brit of branding from New Albany, Ohio, I believe. Um, so I made sure to show that in the listing. I paid about a dollar for it. And even with that branding, it still sold at $20. I've had this for so long, I don't even remember what I paid for it. I think I probably, I'm guessing probably about three bucks at a thrift store. Um, it is just a lightweight, cute pink vest. I originally picked it up for the collar. I've had it probably about two years now. Um, I had it listed for $14.99 and I sent out offers to watchers. Someone accepted $13.49, which um, is pretty good for this because I definitely wouldn't pick this up again. There's not even down in it, so it's not really anything special. It's just cute. So I am happy to see that one go. This is kind of like a bolero cardigan. Um, I picked it up because it was a mohair blend, and it's hard to tell from the pictures because black kind of fuzzes out the picture, but it was in really great condition. Um, so I picked it up for the material, and I paid $2.99 for it. It sold for $25. I mentioned before I don't tend to pick up jewelry a lot. It's not something I really look to source for. I find that it sits a lot for me. Um, this has been sitting a while for me. This is by Tuleste, which 
was on one of the plates near the clasp, so that's how I was able to look it up. I saw that it was higher in brand, although I wasn't exactly sure what I had in it, so I just kind of had to make up a price. I really liked the style of it. I mean, it's definitely unique. I originally paid, I think, about $4 for this, and I had it listed for $69.99, and because I've been sitting on it for a while, someone offered me $40, and I accepted to go ahead and move that item. So that was everything for eBay. Um, moving on over to Poshmark, I sold a total of eight items. This gave me a gross sales total of $227, and just a reminder that that doesn't include shipping. We're considering shipping a wash because the buyer paid for it and I, nothing's coming out of my gross total for that. So this is money that is owed to me before fees. So my gross total, shipping not included, was $227. My, that made my average sale price between the items $28.38, which is honestly lower than what I like to see it at. I like to stay in the 30s. Um, and my total cost of goods for those eight items was $22.84. So jumping right in, I have had these for a little while. You can tell from the background. Um, the tag says PPD, which I believe is um, off a, like a men's version of Page. Um, these are called the Normandy Slim Fit. So I have had these listed for a while. I saw that they were selling for quite a bit of money. So I listed mine high and, you know, again, they have been sitting for a while. I originally paid $350. Uh, somebody purchased these outright for $55. These are just a pair of women's Sperry's. I typically pick up Sperry's at the bins. They usually go about between $20 and $25 for me if they're in good condition. I picked these ones up because they had a unique pattern to them. They had the pink with the white polka dots um, in pretty clean condition. I honestly don't know if I'm going to continue picking up Sperry's. They sit for a little while, but they do bring a consistent amount of money, so I'm not really sure. Another reason I picked these up was because they were a size 11, which is a little bit harder to find online. Um, so I'm estimating I paid probably a little over $2 for these at the bins, and I sold them for $26 on Poshmark. I've been sitting on these guys for a little while, so I was just looking to see them go. I picked them at the bin, up at the bin, so I paid a little over a dollar for them. They were pretty lightweight. They're just a pair of leather mules by Ralph Lauren. Um, they did have some wear on the toe, which is why the price is so low on these. Um, I think I have these listed for like $29, $25, and someone sent me an offer for $20, so I went ahead and accepted. I just wanted to see them move. This is a very recent find. This piece is by Athleta and it is, I think it's merino wool. Let's see. Yes, it's a merino wool slouchy sweater. Um, this fits like more oversized. If you come across Athleta in these oversized sweaters, I'd say definitely pick them up because they are a quick flip. Paid $4.29 for this and I sold it for $29 on Posh. I've had these shoes for what seems like forever. I think I picked these up for like five bucks. They used to be a lot more popular than what they are now. Um, these clogs used to flip for me very quickly, so that's why I picked them up probably close to a year and a half, a couple years ago. Um, originally picked them up because they are animal print and they were in great condition. Um, I've been sitting on them. I had them listed for like 25 I think, for the longest time. Someone sent me an offer for $18, so I went ahead and accepted to move those. I sold these pair of new with tags, women's leather Zara crossover sandals. Um, I don't think I've been sitting on these ones very long either. I paid $4 for them and I sold them for $25. This is an affliction shirt. I believe I paid a dollar for. Now this one was reversible. So some of these check on the inside. They might be able to be worn a different way. This one also had a hole on the sleeve as you can see right here. Um, but with the affliction pieces, they're already grungy anyways, and that's the look that people are going for. So it doesn't bother me to pick one up with a hole right there. Um, so I paid, I think, about a dollar. I still sold it for $29, even with the hole. See, I picked up these free people jeans from the bins. I estimate paying about $1.50 for them. I picked them up because they're free people, and they're just like 
a skinny grungy jean I figured they would flip for around this price and I did get $25 for them okay guys so in total I made a gross sales total between both platforms of $1,186.63 and then my total cost of goods between both platforms was $111.34 and this is starting to pick up from the last couple weeks. I'm hoping now that people are getting their tax returns that they will start buying more things and bringing our sales up. Okay guys, so that is it for what sold for last week. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how your sales are going. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week on another what sold video.